Disney lately has been coming out with a whole bunch of new Minnie Mouse ear designs in the parks, and one of the new pairs that they released for this fall are these orange corduroy Minnie Mouse ears. I thought that this was a super cute, very simple design, absolutely perfect for the fall, and I also thought that these ears would be perfectly easy to DIY. Normally, my Disney versus DIY ear videos are a little bit more complex, but these ears are pretty much as simple as you can get, and so I thought that this would be good to do a DIY showing the kind of full, every step process for how I make my Minnie Mouse ears. For my ears, I always hand sew them onto the headband so that they have kind of the most finished professional look possible. That makes it so you don't don't need any type of trim to hide or cover any hot glue on the bottom, and it's really pretty easy to do. If you can see for these ears, this is a very, very light corduroy. It doesn't quite match the original ears. This was kind of the really the only orange corduroy fabric I could find, but then we have pretty much the same super cute buffalo plaid fabric for the bow. I got both the ear and the bow fabric on Etsy, which I'll link to in the description if you're interested in making your own exact recreations of these ears, but you can also use this DIY as a base to kind of create any type of Minnie Mouse ear. So instead of paying $29.99 for a pair of ears in the parks, you can create your very own ones. I begin as always with my one inch plastic headband, and we need to have a template fit to our specific headband. Trace around your headband, then add half the width of the headband to each side. So add half an inch to each side at the thickest part and taper down. This was the best orange corduroy fabric I could find. Fold your fabric so that the corduroy runs vertically and then trace out your headband piece. Pin the fabric together and cut out. I use double-sided tape to help adhere the fabric, putting some tape on the top and sides of the headband. Roll out and stick onto your headband fabric. Using a glue gun, glue down all the edges. I work in segments where I attach the base, then I glue down the center, and then finish off the other segments. The fabric should meet uniformly in the center of the headband with a properly made template. I use black braid trim to line the inside of the headband, folding over the edges and then hot gluing it to the headband. With our headband prepped, we can move on to the ears. Ensure the corduroy lines are vertical again. I use an 11 centimeter diameter circle as my ear template. I prefer using a compass to create my circle templates. Trace out your template, 
and I then have a 10 centimeter diameter circle with an arc at the bottom to mark where to start and stop sewing. Pin together your fabric and repeat for the second ear. Roughly cut out your fabric. Then sew along your circle, leaving the base open in between where marked. Take out your pins and cut off excess fabric, leaving extra fabric where we have our opening. Turn the fabric right sides out and repeat for the second ear. In all my ears, I use a 1 quarter inch thick household firm foam from Joann's. I take my 10 centimeter diameter circle with an arc template and trace and cut out two pieces. Tuck off fold the foam and place in each ear. Use fiber fill to stuff the ears to desired puffiness, evenly adding stuffing to both sides of the foam. I sew the bases of my ears closed. Fold down one edge of the fabric, then tuck in the other side. and whip stitch closed. With both ears set, we can move back to the headband. Use a measuring tape to mark the center of the headband. Then measure down and mark four centimeters on both sides. To sew the ears onto the headband, thread through the base of the ear, then thread through the headband where marked. Rotate between stitching in the ear, then the headband. Keep the ear aligned to the back of the headband so that there is room for the bow in the front.
make sure you keep your thread pulled taut. Sew around the entirety of the ear twice. Tie off the thread and hide the loose end. Repeat the same for the other ear. I'm going to be making the bow my standard way since this is how I do it on all ears um, and also since I'm not the biggest fan of how the original puffy bow looks. Cut out a 28 by 10 centimeter piece of fabric and also a 4.5 by 10 centimeter piece of fabric. With thinner cotton, I like to line the bow with a piece of flannel. Cut out a 27 by 10 centimeter piece of fabric. Place your flannel in the center of the fabric. Using a hot glue gun, fold over and glue down all the edges of the fabric. With a small piece of fabric, fold in and glue down both edges so that they meet in the middle. Fold in both edges of the bow and glue down. Evenly accordion fold the bow and glue down all creases. the bow center, wrapping it around, and then hemming the end. Lastly, all we have to do is glue our bow onto the headband, adding additional glue to secure the bow and ensure it sits nicely. there you have your own pair of hand-sewn corduroy mouse ears. 
I hope you enjoyed this DIY and that you can find it useful when making your own recreations of Minnie Mouse ears. But thanks for watching!